Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Summagic Inspirations and Star Child Tarot. I'm pre-recording some videos while I'm away at Christmas. Um, today we're doing divine guidance from your angels and the archangels. So I want you to choose a pile just from the number. Um, so I'm just using oracles. And I want you to think of a question for the angels at the end. I will be asking the ask uh, the angels cards, but we'll go get to that at the end of each pile. I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support. I really appreciate that. And if you're interested in any of my products, like my ebooks, my deck shop, my Patreon, all the links are down below. So let's start with the pile one, pile two. Pile three, so just pick from the number and I will see you there. Hello, pile one. I thought I was recording then. <laughs> so, you, your first message fresh air, your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So you could be like me, you've not been outside much, and I think it's just a nudge for us to get outside, get some fresh air. It's really rejuvenating on our energy and, you know, getting away from the, the central heating and everything like that. And it will really clear your mind and clear your energy as well. So even if you can't go outside, open some windows and let in some fresh air as the guidance. We have given and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, and only inhale, receive, you become outriven with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So, again, <coughs> talking about breathing, <coughs> doing those breathings, you know, in and out, taking some deep breaths, but also that giving and receiving energy with others. Maybe you're somebody that's over gives and you're not allowing others to, to to give to you. And, you know, when we allow others to give to us, it, it's a, a gift to them. And we, we need to honour that in ourselves. We need to allow ourselves to receive. So find the balance there in giving and receiving in your life in some way. And you are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and home. So that, you know, Archangel Michael is always around to protect us. And if you are feeling unsafe or unprotected, you can always call on him with his sword of protection and his cloak of protection to assist you. But he's reminding you that you are safe, you are protected. So that's really reassuring. And we have prioritised Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organised and motivated. So... Maybe you're scattered energy, maybe there's a lot going on, you know, a lot of people are very busy at this time of year, and you're feeling scattered, you know, and when you get like that, you end up doing nothing, don't you? It's too much, you feel overwhelmed. So he's asking you to prioritise, what, what is your highest priority? Maybe make a list, what really needs to get done, and what's slow down on the list, and that will help you. So call an Archangel Metatron to help you with that. We have Archangel Lavender. Prepare for soul healing, forgive and release everyone. So it's time to forgive, you know, we're in that beautiful energy. Um, you know, forgive yourself, forgive others, don't hold on to anything. Just release, you know, do that cord cutting, you know, I've got one on my channel. Uh, clear your chakras, you know, really release any negative attachments to people, especially yourself, and forgive and release everyone. And the Hope and Owner Prayer is a really good one to do as well for that. It's very powerful. Learning experience. So, you know, this very much reminds me of the Hermit Energy where you take time out to withdraw, to retreat, to get illumination, to get enlightenment, um, where you've been through some very dark stuff. So you could have been going through a lot of challenging things in your life. And it, it it's a learning experience. And, and I know sometimes we feel we can do without that learning experience. But there's always a soul lesson attached to that. So maybe if you go within or you meditate on it, or again, you call on your angels, they can explain maybe what this learning experience is all about so that you can gain the wisdom from it and take the lessons and leave everything else behind you. Don't hold on to it. 
and we have Ascending Master Babaji, and it says yoga. So maybe this is a, a nudge for you to start doing yoga. Um, that could help with your breathing, you know, if there's a, an issue with breath, breathing uh, correctly, or you're stressed out, or you're over anxious, and you've got so much going on, like scattered energy. <clears throat> This could really help you centre your energy and make you feel more grounded, make you feel more connected to your breath, to your heart space. So again, maybe this is something you could try um, for the new year even. Yeah, we've got emerging. So you're, you know, with this energy, you're coming out of a period that was very dark, maybe, and very difficult. And there were lessons within that experience. And you're emerging out of that. You're coming in, you know, that energy there of the flowers is like springtime. And you're coming out to be your more authentic self, I feel. Coming out into the light. And we have a message from Archangel Michael. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So, yeah, I mean, something's been going on in your life, maybe. And it's time to leave that situation. You don't need to continue in that, uh, experience in that situation. You've learned the lessons, you know, we've got learning experience. Okay, so it's time to honour yourself and leave whatever that unhealthy situation is. So think of the question for the angels. For part one, what's their answer for part one? So think of the question you have for the angels. Well, wow, look at that. The situation will improve. And we just had that leave an unhealthy situation. So, yeah, I think it, your situation will improve when you leave that situation. OK, so let's get a final love um, from the universe message. Love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has something to do with love. Like me, the universe. How beautiful is that? So I'm going to leave it there, part one. Love and blessings. Hello, pile two. Let's see what your divine guidance is from the angels and archangels. So we have child. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, attention. We can clear and open your heart and, and schedule so you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So for some of you, it is particularly talking about your inner child. <coughs> Well, you may need to connect with that aspect of yourself that didn't receive the love and support and nurturing that you needed. <clears throat> For others of you, there could be a child in your life that is needing that love and attention and, and nurturing right now. Or you could be somebody that's really works with children or is going to be guided to work with children in some way. And we need to be in that loving energy and give them the time and energy they need and nurture them. What do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they rush into your life as if by magic. So, again, you know, setting those intentions. What is it that you're trying to manifest into your life? What do you want for yourself? What sort of life do you want? And getting clear on that in your mind. You know, maybe do a vision board, a journal, um, you know, whatever works for you. And get clear in your mind and be in that positive mindset, you know, positive thoughts, words and actions. And, you know, feel the feelings as if you already had that manifestation. Really get into what it would feel like to have that. And that will mag magnetically draw it to you. Prosperity, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Wow. So that just goes on from there. Prosperity is wanting to come in and you just need to focus on that. OK, follow your intuition and manifest your dreams. Your material needs will be met. You just need to focus on that. OK, and know that you can co-create that. We have creative writing, Archangel Gabriel, make time to... Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So this creative writing could bring in prosperity for some of you is what I'm feeling. 
you know, you getting right in, creating a book <clears throat> or an article could also, could bring in that prosperity, but it doesn't have to be. But tapping into your creativity in some way could attract that prosperity. And it is about our thoughts, our words and our actions. So by taking action, you know, bringing into realisation your creativity can help you manifest this prosperity is what I'm feeling. And we have Seraphine Seraphel. Tune into the divine wheel, open to higher illumination. So, yeah, they want you to connect in to higher illumination. They want you to connect with the divine. They want you to connect with the angels, the archangels. So open up the lines of communication. They need your permission to come in, pray to them, meditate. Open up that connection. And take a step back. It's time to take a step back. Um, stop trying to control things. Stop trying to make things happen, you know, just trust, just relax, go with the flow, focus your intentions and take whatever action you feel guided to take. Um, but don't try and control anything, don't try and push anything, just step into the flow. And we have Moses, take charge of the situation. So, yeah, I mean, take charge of your situation. Obviously, you're in charge of your own life. So you are responsible for what, what is happening. So, you know, be aware of that. Be aware that you're co-creating this. And, yeah, take charge. You know, make plans, um, set intentions, do what you need to do. But don't be in a control energy. Be in, stepping into the, be in that flow energy. We've got soulmate energy here. So for some of you, there is a soulmate on their way towards you. So this is somebody that you made a contract with to connect with in this lifetime um you could be with them or this is something that's going to come in in the next few months you're going to meet this person as your vibration matches each other you are going to manifest each other so archangel michael message the situation is already resolved i give any worries cares concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways thank you for resolving this in a divinely perfect way. So call on Archangel Michael to assist. Call on the universe, God, the angels, whatever you believe in, to assist you. But things are already resolved. So have faith and trust in that. So I'll think of your question for the angels. What is the answer for question uh, for part two? What is the answer to their question? What's the answer to their question. So we've got big, big happy changes coming in for you. Big happy changes, so very positive. So let's get your final message. It's not only about being right. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, in the final ana analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other perspective. Don't you agree? The universe. So yeah. It's not that important to be right. It's finding the middle ground, isn't it? And, and finding that peace and seeing things from each other's perspective is so powerful and that will bring in peace. So I'm going to leave it there, part, three, uh, part two, love and bless. Hello, part three. Let's get your divine guidance. So we have change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and guidance. You are protected now and in the future to follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. So there's a change in direction coming in your life. Maybe something, you know, didn't work out the way you planned, but you are divinely guided in this, and, and it's it's going to be a much happier outcome for you. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So, yes, yeah, see only the love in yourself and in others. Being that loving, compassionate energy, you know, that is the way to move forward. And breathe with Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release all patterns. So, again, breathing came up in part one. So there could be trouble with breathing, breathing issues or, or breathing properly. I know I don't breathe properly, to be fair. 
um, when you get stressed out, you could be, you know, over, you know, hyperventilating, not taking deep breaths. So it's a good suggestion for all of us to take a deep breath and exhale and really awaken that energy and release patterns within us as well. And we have victory with Archangel Sandophon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So there's victory coming towards you here in your life. So your prayers have been heard and answered. Just have trust and faith in that. They're letting you know that it's on its way. Have faith. Archangel Mariel. Manifest for the highest good. Work with pure love. So again, work with pure love. You know, be in the unconditional love for yourself. Be in that self-love energy. The more we do that, the more we can do that with others. And be in that loving energy around others. And that will really help you to manifest your heart's desire. To manifest all the good things. And Archangel Raziel, seek and you will find, be a wise one. So, beautiful rainbow colours there. So, don't stop learning, don't stop opening up, open up your mind. Um, seek the answers, you know, if you have questions, if your mind is like that, if you're curious, don't ever stop looking, you know, keep learning, keep opening your mind. And signs and reminders, so... Again, your guides, your angels, your archangels are sending you signs and reminders all the time. They want you to be aware. They want you to be on the lookout for these signs and reminders to let you know they're there, they're around you, they're supporting you. And again, they need you to, you know, connect with them so they can come in and support you more. And we have Almoera, clear and shield your energy. So, yeah, particularly at this time of year, you know, if you're going out in crowds or you're mixing with people you don't normally mix with, like friends or family you haven't seen... Um, it's very important we protect our energy so clear your energy you know in your home around your body with sage palo santo crystals or oils um, cleanse and clear your energy envision a cloak of protection around you when you go out shield yourself you know do whatever works for you make sure you protect yourself and we've got new beginnings coming in so yeah as we're coming into the new year there's definitely a new beginning for all of us but yeah, you're coming out of a, a difficult cycle into a much happier phase, I feel. And Archangel Michael message, explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand and assess all my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness and life's purpose. So it's time to explore your options, to really delve deep into what it is you're trying to achieve. And, you know, do that research. I mean, we had that seek out the answers, be the wise one. So that is your guidance. So ask a question of the angels. So what's the answer for pole three? What's the answer for pole three? What's the answer for pole three? Yeah, don't stop. So keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, because good things are coming. So final message. Love doesn't have to mean near. Some are better loved at a distance, for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tally-ho, the universe, yeah. So yeah, we don't have to be close to people in, in physical distance to love them. You can love anybody uh, from a distance. You know, love, love is energy. Love goes wherever we send it. So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love and blessings. Take care.